are you doing? Good morning, everybody, wherever you are. Our topic today is the goodness of God. The goodness of God. You may believe in the goodness of God, but do you know how to test the goodness of God in your own life? Find out how you can start experiencing it for yourself. Our God is a good God. If you know him and love him, you will likely respond with a hearty amen. Yesterday, today, and forever, he's a good God on our best days, on our worst days. He is a good God when we understand life circumstances. When we don't understand, he is still a good God. He never changes. Now, you might know of the goodness of God, but do you really know what it takes or what it's like to test and see that the Lord is good? Psalm 34 verse 8. Just think about the difference between knowing about something and experiencing it for yourself. When you test or see something, it isn't just something you have heard about or believe. It is something you have experienced. You can testify it to its truth. For example, you may have seen a big chocolate cake, believed it existed, and even seen others enjoying it. But it isn't real and tangible in your own life until you have tested it yourself. Maybe you believe God is good, but you aren't sure He will be good to you, or that He will be good to you in every area of your life, health, family, and finances. Maybe you know He's the giver of good and perfect gifts, and you have seen them operating in the lives of others, but are you expecting to see them in your own life? more than just occasionally. The goodness of God doesn't come and go with the season. He is always good. He desires to bless you, heal you, deliver you and prosper you every day. So, if you are a Christian and you aren't enjoying life, you aren't doing it right, Jesus said. I came that they may have and enjoy life and it is in abundance to the full till it overflows. John 10.10, 10, Amplified Bible. God wants us to enjoy this life. If you are not expecting and experience the fullness of the blessings of God in every part of your life, even the tiniest part, it is time for a change. It is time to learn how to test the goodness of God with these steps I'm going to mention now. Renew your mind to the goodness of God, meaning be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. You might think you have got it covered when it comes to understanding the goodness of God, but if you really want to press in into his goodness, start by accepting that you might have something more to learn. Sadly, most of us have been exposed to religion. The kind that says you can't depend on the goodness of God. The kind that says God sends sickness and poverty to teach you something or for his glory. Or maybe you even believe in his goodness, but deep down, you aren't expecting to test every muzzle of it. It's surprising the number of people who can read the scripture and determine God to be anything but good. All anyone easily need to do is to come to the right conclusion about God's nature is look at the actions of his son. If religious traditions have robbed you of the goodness of God, or if you have lived hesitated to expect all of his goodness for fear of disappointment, it's time to press the reset button. Even if you have been your own enemy, convincing yourself that you somehow are unworthy of the goodness of God or at least some of it it's not too late you can renew your mind to the goodness of God start today washing those traditions and wrong thoughts away with the truth get out your Bible and let God himself tell you through his own word that he is the God who heals you Exodus 15:26. Dig into the scriptures and discover for yourself that he is the God of mercy. Psalm 86 verse 5. 
his loving kindness jeremiah 9 verse 24 and god is a compassion god psalm 145 verse 8 begin renewing your mind today with these words i have told you put your doubts to rest and open your heart to receive the truth about your heavenly father Renew your mind to the goodness of God is the only thing that can truly set you free. Another one is believe you will see the goodness of God. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 27 verse 13. If you want to test the goodness of God, you need to believe you will see the goodness of God in your life. It's not enough to believe it exists. You can believe a million dollars exists, a million dollars exists without believing you will see it in your life. You need to get to a place where you are expecting it. And you cannot see the goodness of God unless you believe. He is a good God who, who gives every good and every perfect gift. James chapter 1 verse 17 to those who love him. Let's set the record straight. God is not holding back any good thing from anyone. 1 Corinthians 2, 9, 10 says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. He has things in store for you that you have never even dared to imagine. That's exciting to think about. Okay? The the Hebrew word shalom, which the Lord uses to frequently bless his people, means to have wholeness in your life, spirit, soul, and body. It means you have nothing missing, nothing broken. God knows that it is the way things ought to be, and that is the way he wants them to be. Not just for a few of his people, but for every one of them, as Psalm 145 verse 9 says, the Lord is good to all. This truth greatly imparted healing in the life of the children of God whenever you believe in God. As people understand God's goodness, they find it easy to trust Him. That trust enables them to open their hearts to His healing power. When they saw from the word that it was the Father's God's good pleasure to give, give them the good things. Then and, and again, and no good thing will be withheld from them that walk uprightly. Psalm 84, verse 11. They realized God was for them and not against them. When they caught out revelation, they were able to relax and by faith receive what they needed from Him. That is, children of God. If you doubt that God is good and that He's going to manifest His goodness in your life, you will lose heart and quit if you lose heart and doubt that god is good and faithful to you you will move into unbelief and close the door on what he wants to give you is your faith real where will you be this time next year if you don't start believing to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living you'll be right where you are now Things will be no better in your life. In fact, they will probably be worse because the devil will still be unhindered in his work to steal, kill, and destroy. God forbid it. It's not your portion in Jesus' name. But if you find out what the Bible says about God's goodness and you will dare to believe it, things will become to change in a wonderful way. Your life will immediately begin to improve. A year from now, you will not only see that goodness on the pages of your Bible, you will see it around you every day of your life. Receive the goodness of God. No good thing will He withhold from those those who walk uprightly. Psalm 84 verse 11. He will withhold no good thing. This verse plainly says that God isn't in the business of withholding things from those who live according to his word nothing once you renew your mind and believe you will see the goodness of god all that is left for you to do is 
receive the goodness of God. What is missing in your life today? What do you long for, pray for, for or dream about? If it lines up with his word, God wants you to have it. That doesn't mean you don't have a part to play. Of course, your part is obedience and receiving by faith. And sometimes there is a preparation period between the amen and there it is. But God, you should not doubt God. Don't doubt for a moment that he wants to give it to you. God is ready to help you. What is the vehicle that will drive your faith to the finish line? Why do some people have trouble receiving from God? Because they don't have a full understanding of the goodness of God. It's the foundation of our faith. Hallelujah. I will just stop here because our God is so good in our life. Believe. Believe in God. You will receive His goodness.